Hey y'all. So I am actually super duper excited to film this video. So this is gonna be, of course, if you read my Instagram chooses my makeup. So I did polls on Instagram to see what products I should use and we're just gonna create a look with it. I will say I added like things like jewels, glitter, should I wear them? And I will like go ahead and say that a lot of people do want me to use glitter and jewels. So I'm gonna kind of do like a, since it was supposed to be Coachella festival season, I kind of want to do kind of like a Coachella festival makeup inspired with my jewels and glitter. But let's see. I even did my hair today. Like, I don't even. If you know me, you know I never do my hair. Of course, it looked cuter without this headband, but I need it back so I can do my face. So, of course, I'm going to do my eyebrows first off camera. And I didn't really have a choice for brows because I don't really have much brow products for me to use. I go with my Anastasia. That's my tried and true and that's just what i'm gonna use today i still have a scab on my freaking chin i hate i'm gonna do my eyebrows and then for primer i'm just looking at what people chose and it was either between the all-nighter grip primer and my and my fenty soft matte and people chose soft matte so i'm gonna do my brows off camera real quick and then i'm going to apply my primer so Okay, so I did my brows off camera. I hate having my hair, just like, I'm not used to it being down. So, like I said, for primer, people voted the Fenty and I had, it was one, the Fenty Soft Matte was 67% and the All Nighter was, I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't see that but Fenty soft matte 67% and all nighter 33 so a lot of people I did post a lot of Fenty and a lot of people really like Fenty I guess because she won I think all of them <laughs> I only posted her twice but and I already primed my eyelids with my P Louise this primer not only helps control my oils but it's also a pore filling primer and I really really like it Fenty comes out with good stuff, y'all. Let me just say that. We stand Fenty. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyes. I always do my eyes before my face. And for eyes, let me just go back and see exactly. I posted the new Jaclyn Hill palette, the volume two, and then Jeffrey's new Bloodlust palette. And Jeffrey won by 63%. And Jacqueline was only 37 so I've actually used this palette quite a few times I've just never taken pictures with it when I first got it I was using this non-stop and then I got my Jacqueline palette and I was using that non-stop and now we're gonna go back so it looks like this such beautiful packaging I love the velvet feel and it looks like this So since I do want to go more of a festival kind of look, we'll see if that even happens. But I think I'm going to go more into like these colors here, like this, this row right here. Yeah, that row's cute. We'll do that. All right, so let's, let's get started. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, so... The first color I'm going to go into, which, which is probably my favorite color in this palette, is Blood Queen. That's going to be this dark purple over here. Also, I did notice when people, I put jewels and glitter, people who voted no on them um, were the same people. I guess they were thinking more of a, wanting more of a natural look, which I am going to do a more natural look in the future. This one's just going to be over the top, I feel like. 
So for the people who want more of a natural matte matted look, I got you. So I brought it all the way to kind of give it like a cat eye. I think I'm gonna go into Vivid Mood, which is um, this purple right here. I'm mostly gonna do two, just those two. What, mamas? What? Cause your heart's made of gold, but don't wait till you're old. If you want it, I get you some. Feel your body losing up the tension. Maybe to the mansion, I'll be here for you. I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and kind of just blend those two colors together and make sure everything's just blended. Okay, so now that that's kind of blended, I'm going to go ahead and cut that crease right there. I'm not that good at cutting the crease since I have no crease, but whew, this this part makes me nervous. like that it looks a little sloppy but I am gonna like clean that up with concealer I kind of want to go into deviant right here got like pale lavender I think that would look pretty okay so that's what it looks like so far and I am gonna add just a little bit of glitter. Should I? I don't wanna add glitter. Actually, I do. I love glitter. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of put the frozen glitter kind of like in the center. Or should I do all over? Should I do all over? that looks good I don't know if that ruined the look did it ruin the look you can hardly see the glitter okay honestly I think the glitter ruined it <laughs> I think the glitter ruined it which I'm so upset to the people who said no glitter you were right or maybe I shouldn't have like covered it and added glitter first I don't know why I should have done but I'm going to add a little bit of Take the Crown right there, where it kind of looks like it kind of piled up. And I'm going to leave it like that. It has just a little bit of glitter. I don't want to ruin the look, so I'm just going to keep it like that. And then we'll add glitter to the face. Hey, I didn't say where I was gonna add the glitter. I just said I should I add glitter. So you can see just a little bit of glitter, and I just added this shade right here on top of that, just because it was looking weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera, and then we'll go to the base. Okay, so I'm back with both eyes. I'm not proud of how this eye came out, but. It's gonna have to do because I'm not gonna redo it. Um, so now that we've primed, we've done our eyes. Of course, this isn't the final. I've got to do the bottom. I am gonna do my foundation. Which foundation? Let's go back to the poles, which I'm pretty sure Fenty One. Yes. So Fenty Pro Filter 69% and the Urban Decay was 31%. Which I'm bummed because I wanted to, I low-key wanted to use the Urban Decay. Mostly, I feel like because Fenty, I, now I love this foundation. This shade that I have right here is just a little bit too dark for me. So, I've gone significantly white, pale. So, we just, we, we're gonna, we're gonna make do. I might mix it with a light concealer, just a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks so much 
darker than me because I am not dark no more. And this is in shade 240. Fenty is a water-based foundation. So as the water evaporates, it does get darker. A lot of people think it oxidizes. It does get darker, but that's just because it needs to set down for it to show its true color. So you do want to go just a little bit lighter than what you are. It has amazing buildable coverage. It's medium to full. I'm not going to worry too much about blending it all the way because I am going to go in with my concealer and then I'm going to go in with a sponge and I'm going to be blending it with a sponge as well. So I just want it on me. So the concealer that one was Too Faced. I think my lot too. I said either Hourglass or Too Faced. Too Faced one by 68%. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go wet my sponge real quick and then we're gonna use concealer. Okay, and we're gonna use our Too Faced. Let me get it up in here. Oh, there's a hair. I rather have my hair up than have it how I have it right now. I feel like my skin's been dry. Which, that is no bueno. I do not want dry skin. <laughs> I'd 100% rather have oily skin than dry. Even if I do turn more dry, I do have the Fenty. I have the hydrating one as well. If you have dry skin, that stuff's amazing. I love it and I'm more oily. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my powder, which I put up my peach powder against my Fenty powder. And Fenty won by 63%. That, that one kind of hurts, y'all. Because Too Faced is my go-to. The peach one is my go-to powder. But we're going to use my Fenty. I mean, I have the powder. Might as well use it. Don't get me wrong, I do love this powder. But Too Faced is my go-to. Wow, oh my god. I don't know if it's the foundation that looks this good or what. I love this concealer by the way. The Too Faced one is so good. It, does, it has no creases under the eyes, which I love, 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 love. Okay, so now that we've set our eyes, should I go ahead and just finish the eyes? I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes. Why not? I might do Scandal Water and High King. Those are different shades of purple that I can do on the um, under eyes. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So we're going to add that Frozen Glitter in the inner corner or maybe even Sleeping Beauty. No, I think I'm going to do this ColourPop Glitter. You wanna say hi, boo? Boo. Nope, she's escaped. She's she's gone now. Oof. Did I add too much? Whoa. That's gonna be in my eyeball later. That's intense. I put a lot. That's okay. Boo. She's all over. What? You're going to knock everything over. Ooh, let me get her. Boo, say hi. She doesn't like to be held. Okay, so now we're going to get into face contour and bronzer. I am going to, I believe, use the Anastasia. Yes, Anastasia won by 51%. It was against Tarte, the Park Avenue Princess palette. Okay, so for blush, I had two blush palettes. And I believe Anastasia won. I believe it was a closed one. I had a Jouer one and I had the Anastasia one. Anastasia won 57%. And Joy is at 43. 
so it was a close one i low-key wanted to use the joy because i haven't used that palette in like forever this palette right here i used to use all the time like i would use this non-stop i love the colors i would always dip into this one right here i think that's coastline and then um breeze those are my two favorite shades in this palette i'm gonna kind of mix both of them And this one was a holiday collection. I don't think you can get this anymore, but they need to come out with it again or come out with more because I love this quad of blushes. And I'm going to go in with Coastline a little on my nose just to give it like a sun-kissed look as if I had seen the sun i haven't seen the sun in ages so now that we got our blush all on i like to go heavy with my blush so don't judge me i'm gonna go in with highlighter let me give a quick spray to the face and this is the smashbox photo finish setting spray that stuff is really good so for Highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Bretman X Morphe. I believe this one is the one that won. Let me go back just to give exact. Yes, Bretman won by 57%. So I haven't dipped into this one in a hot minute. Two, I usually go into Vacation, um, Get Laid, Vacation, and Get Laid. That is so pretty! Which again, I don't think you can buy this anymore. It's so sad. I should have bought like 10 of them. I love Bretman Rock. Bretman Rock, if you know me, he is probably my favorite makeup influencer. Hands down. Besides like, you know, Jeffrey. But I love Bretman. He is so funny and he's so not controversial at all he's like super chill so now i think it's lips and i'm done well not done i have to put lashes not making that mistake again i think i'm gonna go ahead and put on lashes off camera and put a little bit of eyeliner and then i'll see you for lips well, I thought I was almost done and I forgot I added jewels to the thing. So we're going to kind of just do a euphoria kind of look. Do it for under the brows. And we're going to call it a day, okay? I don't know why I added jewels. Because for one, I hate working with jewels. I don't have like a little pin to kind of help me. I just use my tweezers and they're not the best. Should I add jewels, I said. Is it too late to delete that one? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Here we go. They look beautiful. They're just a bitch to put on if you don't have the correct tools. I'm gonna grab my duo glue. That's why we're not gonna do that many. I know you deserve all the war Cause your heart's made of gold but don't I can't even pick it up with my tweezers, look Ooh, This is gonna be a pain oh, If you want it, I'll get you some Feel your body Losing up the tension Baby, did I mention I'll be here for you Promised more glitter on the face. We're gonna grab a little bit of this Tarte Star Party treasure pot, and I love these glitters. And I do this all the time at my job. <gasps> Is it dried? No. We'll just put a little bit 
here on the highlight. Now we're gonna do lips. Let me see who won. Because I know it was like a neck, a neck with. Okay, for lip liner, Patrick Ta won. I'm gonna go in, do more pinkier. We're gonna go in with, she's proud. And then for lip, I believe Patrick Ta won as well. Yes, Ta, and then lip gloss, Patrick Ta. Uh. Everyone's a big fan of Patrick Ta like me. Okay. She's proud and I'm gonna go in with... I'm gonna do the more pinkier one. This one is She's Secure. I don't think I've used this one yet. I love the feel of these. And then we're gonna put gloss. Patrick Toswell, which one should I do? I guess this one. We'll do She's an Influencer, cause I'm not. <laughs> yes. Girl. If you don't have a Patrick Ta gloss, what are you doing? Go get you one. Okay. And this look is complete. Let me take this off. And I didn't do that well with my hair. Just because I need help on still learning how to do my hair. So what do we think? Those are eyes. Lips. And I'm gonna take pictures. The sun is out. Okay, I like it. I really like this look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my makeup. But I really like how this came out. It's really cute. I think it's cute. Thanks everyone who voted. Um, you are very appreciated. And I will see you on the next one. Okay, bye.